Check this out. So you want to hear my hot take on plus size travel and why I think every plus size traveler should get a free second and even third seat on an airplane? Then you better keep watching and sign my petition to make some real change. Let's just state facts. Plus size travelers need more space. And many people agree that plane seats are too small, even for the average size person. As a plus size traveler myself, I know how uncomfortable and unsafe it can be to squeeze into a tiny airplane seat. We are not asking for special treatment or luxury accommodations. You're literally asking for special treatment right now. We simply want enough space to travel comfortably and safely without fear of being discriminated against because of our size. It's truly that simple. If you agree that every traveler deserves to fly comfortably and without fear of discrimination, then go ahead and please sign my petition and share it with everybody that you know. Let's work together to make air travel more inclusive and accommodating for everyone. I can't believe she actually got signatures. The fuck? Bro, this, is this shit happening in other countries, bro? Or is this only America? Cause what, what, what the hell, bro? What the hell? She's literally out here asking for special treatment because she put one too many donuts in her face. Nobody told you to eat that much food and get that fat. Nobody did that to you. I'm pretty sure no one held a gun to your face and said, eat that damn cookie. She's literally asking for free airplane seats because of her bad decisions. By that logic, a skinny person should only pay for half their seat, right? This inclusivity bullshit that she's trying to push is bullshit. Yes, I said that twice in the same sentence because that's how bullshit it is. You can't get special treatment because you're fat. That makes no damn sense. You will have a better argument if you're disabled because I could understand that you're disabled. You can't help it, but this should be a wake up call for you. Lose some weight, eat better. Don't expect us to tolerate and put up with your bad decisions and your bad eating habits. And if you really want more space, they have first class for a reason. So get your ass up to first class so more people can get the seats that they paid for. She's out here fat as hell, acting like she's above everybody else just because she's fat. Travel might look a little different for us plus size folks, but it's still possible. The airlines should do a better job accommodating us, but until then, I'll keep shouting my message from the rooftops. You deserve to travel just as much as anyone else. Listen, if you can't fit on an airplane, that's your fault. Lose some damn weight. This is nonsense right here, man. This is ludicrous. Ludicrous. Listen, man, you know how embarrassed I feel if I went on a plane and my stomach was just bulging out <laughs> and hitting the other passenger seat right in front of me? Bro, that's, that's raps, man. I'm, I'm living in the gym after that, bro. But I don't know what it is that make these people want to do everything in their power to not lose weight or to not eat healthier, man. Oh, I know why, because it's an addiction. And all this fat acceptance and inclusivity for fat people is so we can support their addiction. When you're that big, it is an addiction. You're addicted to food. You're addicted to sugar, salt. This right here is a normalized addiction. And the food here in America is what causes that addiction. Cause why is the obesity rate so high here, but it's not in other countries? The food here is like three times the size of the food in other places. Like if you buy a bag of chips in America, compared to a bag of chips in like somewhere in Europe, the portions are a lot bigger in America. Damn girl, she is thicker. I have no comment, man. <laughs> I have no comment, bro. I legit thought that was an ass too, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying? I legit thought that was an ass too, man. That is crazy. That should be... How is that not a wake-up call? How is that not a wake-up call, man? Are people really just okay? Are they really just okay just being big like that? Or are they just gave up? I mean, I think they just accepted the addiction and just gave up. You ever been out with friends and realized that you were the only one not getting hit on? And then immediately thinking it's because you exist in a bigger body? It's horrible because you know that like male attention isn't the end all be all, but at the same time it still hurts. And no matter how popular the fat acceptance movement gets, you all will still be humbled by reality. Just like how men are humbled by reality every day of our lives. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a club 
the fat girl is not going to get that much attention. Let's be honest, man. Let's be real. A lot of men do not, a lot of men don't want to be seen with the fat girl, especially in public. If there's a fat friend and a slimmer friend, the slimmer friend will get more attention. That's just reality. That's just how it is, man. And reality will always humble you. Reality show you what's actually going on. And when men say that we prefer healthier women over obese women, we get clowned. We get shamed for our preferences. And then y'all go out in public and wonder why you don't get as much attention as your skinnier friends. We, we just told you ass. We don't like fat. I'm curvy. I'm bigger than most of my friends. So my first instinct is like, oh, they don't want a bigger girl. This past summer I was at a hostel and I saw these guys. I went to introduce myself and I was standing next to this girl that was just like complete Victoria's Secret, like the old Victoria's Secret supermodel vibes. And I was like, hi, I'm Juliana. And while he was shaking my hand, he was literally looking at her being like, nice to meet you. And you guys, I got so mad. After that, he didn't talk to me again, and I got so mad. I left the bar, and I wrote, like, slam poetry on my phone. I can show you if you want to see it. Because it was so many years of, like, pent-up anger and frustration that I feel like I didn't even get the chance to introduce myself. I didn't even get the chance to, like, meet them and let them get to know me. I felt like I was cast aside, and I felt like I didn't have any inherent value to men because I wasn't skinny, which is, uh horrible. Any of my other curvy mid-sized people that want to vent or tell me what you think about this, um, let me know. I'd love to know if I'm not alone in this. And the thing is, she's not even that big for real. You know what I'm saying? And she has, and she actually has a pretty face. There are women out here calling themselves curvy when they're actually fat as hell and obese. That's not curvy. That's just unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she, I could actually say that she's curvy because I've seen her TikTok. She's, she's actually curvy. She's not fat. Behind every hot girl is an ugly man from her past who paid her back in trauma for her charity work. Eh, shut your ass up, man. So you're telling me that a man you fell in love with, got in a relationship with, dated wholeheartedly, you're gonna reduce that relationship to charity work. That is just fucking disrespectful right there, man. That is disrespectful. And honestly, any woman who thinks this way has a rotten heart. And I hope you die alone. Actually, that last part was kind of harsh. I don't actually mean that. But you should think about what you just said, though, because that's, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous, man. Imagine if it was a man. <laughs> Imagine if, it, if this was a man that dated a fat girl, right? And then he comes on and make a TikTok about how he did charity work by dating her. Y'all women will be in the comments so quick. You will be canceled so quick. Just like that, man. And now you see how bad that sounds. So don't come out here online and say you did charity work when you were in a relationship with someone and you love someone. It's fucked up. All right, y'all. With that said, I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to spread love today, all right? Because women like her need it. We all got some broken hearts to mend. So the first step is to love ourselves. And in return, we have love for each other.